to know I'm Detective DeLong, Parade, Pasadena Police. Yes, I recognize you. Did you have a good time at the party last night? No, I didn't. I'm not supposed to have a good time when I'm on duty. Great. Well, what do you want, Detective DeLong, Parade? I'd like you to come down to the station. Why? To look at some pictures. Pictures? Mug shots. You know, like in the movies. Ah, mug shots. Yes, well, all right. Will you follow me to Pasadena? Pasadena. Pasadena. All right. Will you fasten your safety belt, please? Come, let's no! go. No! Take your hands off of her! Hush. I want my baby. Where's her baby at? Let me go. Come on, no. Ah, Mr. Mill. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Everybody, this is Mr. Mill. You Good remember you him. Again? He makes movies. Hello? Have a seat, Hello? Mr. Mill. Where the fuck is he going? Excuse me, sir. Mr. Mill? Mr. Mill? Not in here. This is my lieutenant's oh, office. Have sorry. a seat in my seat. Right here. All right, now. Uh, um, <laughs> Willa, could you... Sir. Your oh. desk? <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, have a seat, Mr. Mill. Listen, um, before we start, I just hit... Paul went to see a movie last night. He came in here raving about it. Paul, what was the name of that movie that they changed the lady into the chicken at the end? What did you say? Freaks. Freaks. Have you ever seen this? Todd Browning, yes. Oh, one of us. One of us. One of us. One of us. He came in doing that. He was raving about it. She loved it. He loved it. It was thrilling for me. Um, Willa, excuse me. Did you happen to see where the tampons went that were in here? Of course, I can't seem to find them. I didn't take them. You, who took them? Did he take them? I don't know. I didn't take him. Well, who did? I didn't take him. You see this? Damn. Um, so do you have a break in the case? How what makes you say that? Well, why else would you bring me here? Why else indeed? <laughs> Paul? Paul? Why have you brought Mr. Mill in here today? To look at some pictures. Willa? Pictures? Listen, could you... If you remember, what were you uh, wearing that night? I was wearing a um, double-breasted suit, I believe. Just... Oh, it's all right. It's Mr. Miller, you're so jumpy. <laughs> Sit down. I'll, I'll get no, it. No, no, that's what she's here for. It's all right. Have a seat. Sorry. No problem. OK. Can <sighs> you take a look at this gentleman? Where were they? Right here. She found them. Look, they're right. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, no, these aren't mine. These are slender regular. These are yours. Yeah, I guess you have jumbo. Well, I do use jumbo. These are not mine. God, I was trying to help you out. Um, look, did, did you see this guy that I was Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, no, I, 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 you're putting me in a terrible position here. I would, I would hate to get the wrong person arrested. Oh, please. This is Pasadena. We do not arrest the wrong person. That's L.A. See, L.A., they kick your ass and then they arrest you. That's what they do. We don't do that here. Remember last year? What was that guy's name? They put him on the tape. What was that? King. That's right, King. King. He was the wrong guy. Do you have a witness? I can't answer that. Well, either you have a witness or these are suspects in similar murders. Mr. Mel, have you been going to detective school? No, actually, we're doing a... A movie right now called The Lonely Room, and Scott Glenn plays a detective much like yourself. Is he a black woman? No. Don't give me a turn. Oh, Lily Tomlin's in there? No. I Actually, I was, I was drawing the comparison not based on race or gender. Speaking of which, did you go out with uh, June... Uh, uh, what is that woman's name? Goodman's daughter. <laughs> what is it? Who... It's spelled for me. G-E-D-M-U-N-D-S-D-O-T-T-I-R. Oh, well, that really helps. Could you, uh, did you go out with June? Goodman started. Yeah, her. Last night? Yes, I did. Have you guys known each other a long time? No, I spoke to her for the first time the night Kahane was killed. Wow. So you didn't know her before this? No, time. I didn't. We met over the phone. We got to talking, and one thing led to another. Did you fuck her? What kind of question is that? I think it's pretty direct. Did you fuck her? Well, I wouldn't answer that question without a lawyer in the room, and then I probably wouldn't even answer that question. Mm. Why don't you ask your friend here? He's been following me all over the place. He'll probably know. All right. Paul, did Mr. Mill fuck June Hootmerhutter? I didn't see him. Well, see, you got away with it. He didn't what are you see implying? 
I'm not implying anything. I asked you a direct question. Did you fuck? And I told you I wouldn't answer that question without a lawyer in the room. Then why are you getting hot under the collar? Because you're being rude, Miss Avery. Oh, well, excuse me. But I think it's kind of soon for her to be <laughs> gallivanting in the streets with you. I'm with you. there for her as a friend, Miss Avery. Mm. Why don't you call her? I'm sure she'd be happy to pick over the horror of what's happened to her and tell you how we became friends. What is this fucking Iran? Since when does the state tell us how long and with whom we can share our grief? <laughs> or do you hold June Goodman's daughter to a special code of conduct reserved for women? <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing at? <laughs> I'd like to talk to my lawyer. Oh, right. <laughs> 